Martin here. Today I want to show you guys a valve seat drop on your 5.7 Hemis, your Dodge Hemis. That's right. It isn't just the 4.7s and the 3.7s that drop valve seats. 5.7s do it too. I was out here at Pick Apart and someone had pulled this uh, head off of the Hemi right here and I'm sure they needed a cylinder head. What are the odds they pull another one that's got a valve seat drop on it? Well, I just want to uh, relate to you that it isn't just the 4.7s and 3.7s, but the Hemis that do it too, and probably a lot of engines that have aluminum cylinder heads, because you're talking two different metals, two dissimilar metals with different expansion rates. And the theory behind why that happens, and that's because it, there's air pockets that are in the cooling system. Well, there shouldn't be. And if you don't purge the air properly, that heat from that air pocket moving around, you're going to get this superheated air around, let's say around this area right here where the valve seat is. And maybe it moves away, that pocket air moves, and then it cools suddenly. And then maybe it comes back. And eventually this is going on all the time. And finally, that aluminum cylinder head is going to say, I can't hang on anymore. And that valve seat's going to drop on you. So I just want to show how important it is to purge the air out of that cooling system to prevent this from happening. All right, let me give you a close-up shots of this. All right, right here you can see the, the damage done to the head. And then notice how deep this valve is sitting into the head compared to that one right there. Okay, I'm going to try to remove this valve. I just want to have a look at it. There we go. Oh yeah, look at there. There's part of the valve seat still stuck in here. <laughs> Check that out. See the valve seat still stuck in there. Part of it anyway. If we clean that up, you'd see how hammered the edge of that is. Now, this happened to a friend of mine as well. He bought a Dodge Magnum with engine problems after pulling the cylinder head. Found the exact same problem. Now, that particular engine was neglected badly, and uh, they were adding water to it because it was losing water somewhere. So, obviously, there was air pockets floating around that cylinder head and finally that engine said no more and then dropped that valve seat. Now I'm going to show you some pictures of that engine as well and that the fact that it can be repaired. This is not a death sentence to the cylinder head. Now here is a picture of the front timing cover of a 5.7 Hemi and right there you can see that corrosion right there. Well that is caused from tap water being used. No antifreeze and then some cavitation probably happened there and it blew a hole right through the timing cover. Now this of course introduced water into the oil and then also caused the water level to drop and bring air into the cooling system. That's what caused the valve seat to drop. Now Scott went ahead and cleaned up the timing cover and right there you can see where he TIG welded the hole back shut and it turned out real good. And here is the cylinder head of that engine and you can see that valve seat came apart and just hammered that head. Yeah, that looks awful. 
Here's a shot of the piston of that same cylinder. As you can see, even parts of the piston are missing on the outer edge. Well, look at this. Well, here is a close-up of that piston. And as you can see, there's pretty much nothing left of it. What is really amazing that that engine even ran, you know, up to this point, you'd have thought it had quit earlier. Now, here is that same cylinder head I just showed you after coming back from the machine shop. You can't even tell which cylinder was the one that dropped the valve seat. They did a great job. And here's everything laid out, ready to go back into the block. The cylinder head's been completely rebuilt, got brand new pistons, and the block has been bored over. And you can, as you can see that this is not the death of that engine. It can be repaired. Well, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys found that uh, helpful and informative. And if you did, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. That helps out the channel big time. And if you never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and that little bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notified of my next upload. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the Amazon links down below where you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links. And that way the channel earns a small commission. I do appreciate that. All right, well, we will see you on the next one.